All right, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, I just got your email. Uh, okay. I don't know. Seriously, uh, I don't know if I could do that um, because I don't. I don't see when I'm in the car or wherever the angel orbs appear in these videos. I don't see them. Yeah, it's the camera that can pick them up. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like I cannot physically see them. I can sense because, you know, the God has on the inside. So I can sense the Holy Spirit and everything. But when y'all see those orbs in some of the videos, yeah, uh, that's what it is. We know that those are God's angels. Remember, he tells us in the book of Psalm, right? Yeah, he tells us he's going to send, he sent his angel to watch over us. Glory be to God. But uh, I like the idea. Uh, just one video. If this did get out the mainstream, it was serious coverage. Um, well, you know, it is thought provoking. Let me. Let me ponder on that. Uh, just simply mentioning the fact that you will see those angel orbs in some of our videos on narcissism and cognitive dissonance, the YouTube channel, uh, on CHA's YouTube channel, better yet. Uh, so you will. Uh, for those of you who, you know, yeah, if you haven't seen them yet, you will. Because there's several car videos with them and uh, a recent one as well. So, it is what it is, and I, I'm, I'm, I like the idea, but uh, I, I don't know. I've got to be able to see them in the physical myself, but remember, that it's spiritual. So, <laughs> uh, it's the camera that picks them up, and uh, I'll have to think about it. I'll, I'll talk to God and see if he... It, Let's see if that's what God would want us to do. You know, because it is his angel, after all, that he sent to watch over us. And so when they appear in video, because the technology can pick it up, whereas I don't see them. So unless I watch the video, then I see them. <laughs> Just like y'all. So we'll... Uh, we'll watch the video, then I see them. There you go. Yeah, uh, it is just a, a thought, I know, and um, well, yeah, uh, that would be the thing, too. You would have wanted and then unwanted publicity, but I'll tell you something that I have learned about this industry, you all, that even bad publicity is good publicity. Even bad reviews are good reviews when you really peel back the layers of the onion because any kind of publicity is publicity. So you take the good with the bad. Think about all of the gossip, right, on the world stage. Do you think that those public figures, yeah, come on now. So, uh, we're just going to have to see how that goes. But I like I like the idea, and I'm thinking we're going to get to it, you all, because the devil cannot catch chosen ones, cannot cannot touch chosen ones. There you go. Uh, he can't because God revealed this. Like, yeah, why does he have that cycle of if he can't get to us directly, he sends the flying monkey narcissist, and if that doesn't work, tries to trick us into doing it to ourselves, and I'm going to share a little story with you all. As to how God revealed this to me. Like, yeah, so the devil cannot touch us. He can't. Because, well, A, he was external. But if he could, he wouldn't need to send the flying monkey narcissist. Now, would he? Think about it. Okay? Common sense and logic. And so this reiterate that the devil is not in us, chosen one. No. Remember, for demonic possession to occur, it has to be low vibing, negative, and the human host 
right? The human being has to internalize those negative emotions. In other words, personalizing them, right? Remember how the narcissists take everything personal? Well, that's why. Because they have internalized the negative emotion. And that's how they become demonically possessed. But it had to be in that low vibration where it's kind of like numb. And so they don't know that that's what's happening to them. They don't know they're becoming demonically possessed by doing that. That's why chosen ones, we learn. That stuff don't belong to us. We send it back. <laughs> send it back first class, baby. <laughs> that's it. Rebuke in the name of Jesus. I am Michelle Dickey, your host for CHA Let's Just Chat Show, streaming on the YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance. That's right, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center while combating radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. Trauma healing and spiritual growth occur with God with the basic scientific facts, tried and true techniques, and more here and at chaacademyvtbw.com. The link to the Academy is listed below. Some of you might need to copy and paste that link to view what CHA Academy BTBW.com offers to help you level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth. All right, so the devil cannot. He cannot. God tells us this many times, right? Because even, listen, I, I, yeah, I don't recall exactly where, but I remember reading where it said that even even the de even the devils tremble because they know and they tremble because they have to obey. Remember James four seven, right? You got to resist the devil and he shall flee. As long as we resist the devil, he has to go. Meaning, when we rebuke in the name of Jesus, he has to obey. Think about that. Oh, uh, that would just be another reason why the enemy is always mad because he don't even have a choice but to obey God in Jesus' name. So, of course, he's going to be mad. <laughs> he cannot touch God's chosen one. In Psalm 105, 15, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Yeah, you don't, we don't want to... <laughs> yeah, we don't want the wrath of God on us. <laughs> okay, because he won't take care of them. Any of them, any of these evildoers who tries to harm one of God's chosen ones, he's going to take care of them. I've said this many times, but tell y'all, it's true. We've seen it. Okay, we've watched it happen. One of those Jezebel trying to guilt trip me during that last season of my life. And I did not, I let it roll. I let it roll because I said, I'm not going to participate in satanic rituals on this world stage. It's not happening. So, it went right back around to them. Because it had to go somewhere. Because I wasn't internalizing it. I was like, I got no demon of guilt. Because we are obeying God. And so, the very next day, oh, that Jezebel did not have a very good day at all. That was God taking care of it. I'd have to do nothing. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. We don't need to go seeking revenge. Remember, vengeance belongs to the Lord. So we turn it over to God. We're like, hmm. We don't internalize it. Yes. You nailed it right there. That and the distancing. That's satanic ritual. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. Uh, we're, we're, we'll work on that. And so, the demon, okay, yeah, the demon putting the negative in, get more of the same out. Absolutely. Well, you know, God even tells us, you know, God even tells us that uh, they who, yeah, in, uh, in Galatians 6, verse 8, those who... Uh, I share this in our, our um, you're going to hear more about that. I'll leave it that way. <laughs> I'll leave it, to, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, because, and I know that the book of Galatians is right before Ephesians. Okay. And so, um, in Galatians 6, 8, he says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit 
shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And so those demonically possessed biological beings out there, they sow it to the flesh, and of the flesh they reap corruption. Remember, narcissists, right? They, yeah, they, they tarnish everything they touch. They mess up everything they touch. Chosen one, we don't. Now we learn that we don't want to get ahead of God because if we try to get ahead of God, then we will mess it up. But we will, the human. <laughs> okay, so that's why God will step in and go, um, <clears throat> stop. <laughs> stop for a minute. <laughs> Slow down. And so we learned that, uh, yeah, that's what they do. In the demonic realm, they continue to sow it after their flesh. And so sowing after their flesh is also what keeps them walking in their feelings. Because in order to grow and evolve and mature as we're supposed to, we cannot be walking around in our feelings. Yes, <laughs> you heard me. We cannot be doing that. We cannot be letting our emotion control us. We got to get control of ourselves. Because I'm going to tell you, when you do that, oh yeah, it's like triple game over for the enemy. And so, let me bring this here real quick as the example that God showed me through me. Okay, remember that. Because I didn't know that I was doing this when there's no reason to be doing it. So, I'm eating lunch, and I have, it's a solid white albacore tuna sandwich, but taco on an almond wrap, okay, with lettuce, tomato, onion, a little mayo, and then, of course, mustard. So, as I am eating that, my paper plate I'm holding, and so I have my, the tuna taco, if you will. <laughs> In this hand, and so I'm pondering over stuff, you know, talking to God, all right, because you know, he's revealing this and revealing that, and told me to put the ice pack there. And I'm like, okay, wow, now what? We are really noticing that. Oh, you're going to hear more on this. See, balance. God is a God of balance. Remember that. Because when your body can relax, okay. Normal muscle function helps the body relax. Okay, so that's one thing. And so basically, proper circulation leads to relaxation. And relaxation leads to proper circulation. Balanced. All right. Yes, that had to do with the autonomic nervous system. When God revealed that to me, I said, oh, that makes sense. That it goes both ways. And so you balanced right proper circulation and you stay relaxed so when you stay relaxed it can continue to circulate like it's supposed to so i'm eating my tuna taco right and i'm yep god revealed it to me because i was like okay wait a minute why did that why did that feel like it's shutting down over there and he was like took a bite I realized that I was, yeah, I was doing this motion that's associated with upper back tension. And so naturally, that follows. And when that follows, that tension does what? Hinders circulation. I said, oh, I didn't even know I was doing that. Now that we become aware that we're doing that, we can do something about it. Okay, because there ain't no reason for us to be doing that. And so you immediately can feel all of it just relax and then circulate. So I was like, aha! See that? One of the ways the enemy tricks us into self-sabotage. Because I was doing it to myself. There's no threat in this environment, right? Yeah. And so I was doing it to myself at that point. Unaware that I was, though, you see. That's the trick with the devil. It, uh, he wants people to continue to be unaware that they're doing a lot of the things they do to themselves. 
we got to hold ourselves accountable. I said, because I was not aware that I, I wasn't really thinking about it. I'm not hungry from eating. But, right, I became aware of, hold on a second, because each time this happens, what we do, oh, glory be to God. Because I'm going to be going on my morning walk, right, get my shower, get dressed, pull my face out of the jar, right, the notes, right, record a couple of short videos and everything all good. And then all of a sudden, as I'm eating, wait a minute, out of the blue like that, my uh -uh. ah, no, that's not normal. So we're learning to pay attention to all of those things. And so, yes, again, you all excuse me ahead of time <laughs> if I happen to belch here and there because that's the season we're in. <laughs> Air pockets releasing. <laughs> they got to go. <laughs> Air pockets got to go. <laughs> so, but, yeah. Attention around the shoulders during traumatization is common. Absolutely. And here's the thing. There's a lot of a lot of them out here who don't know that they are traumatized. And so they're not aware that they are all tensed up like that. And being tensed up like that is what the enemy because that's right. That signals them living in fear or still being traumatized. Remember, what happened to me was all about appearances for the enemy. Because right, mentally, spiritually. Okay, emotionally, we good. And we good physically, too, y'all. Just so you know, uh, I, let it, I let it be known uh, elsewhere, but where we're at in this season is just minor bruising and ice packing. That's it. Okay, so we good. That's why air pockets are <laughs> amazing. They got to go. <laughs> because bruising is, is like coagulation, right? Right, so, it, yeah, it uh, acts as a plug, is what the uh, bruising does. And so what the enemy did was, right, basically the bruising that I am experiencing in certain areas are areas that are past injury. Because remember, the enemy only has what is from the past. So, right, a particular area on my calf, okay, where I had bruising, and I know what it was from too. I remember. And so this is why it's not, we're not in pain and suffering because the bruising already happened in those areas before. So I'm familiar with it. I was like, oh, the thing is, is that what the enemy did is he reactivated bruises all at once. Remember how the enemy likes to try to overwhelm? But God, oh, glory be to God, ever so st strategically, there you go. Ever so strategically, God revealed one by one. Right? The enemy put them all there at the same time. Yeah, from the incident. But God stepped in and like, I'm going to show you where this one is. And then where this one is. Because God is not a God of overwhelming. Right? So there you go. That's why it takes a little while. But now, sit right, and, and they've been... Yeah, healing the whole time. Jesus on the job, right? And so God revealed these things. And so where they at, let me know, oh, because they're serving as a plug for proper circulation. That's what bruises do. You're going to learn more about that elsewhere. Well, it's actually the bruising was a little more difficult to show because I'm quite tan. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't as easy for me to see right away. But I can tell you that when they started becoming visible, I was already seeing the yellowing. You know how I bruised when as it healed? Right. So as I, yeah, what uh, God revealing to me that, right, they were, uh, they were healing the whole time. They just... Need a little more, little help, some ice packs, something. That's, it. just God hastening it on his time, but they don't hurt, right? Mm -mm. It's just a matter of getting them. It's like the ice acts as a blood thinner. 
because it just, yeah, the roots just need to be thin. That blood needs to be thinned back out, get back in the circulation, so that any toxins that are hanging out there can finally make it out of the body. And in fact, I was, um, okay, God showed me, because remember, I told y'all on my wall what I do when the sirens go by. I go, okay, tell me, where, where are they at? Where are they at? Because I know that that siren is going to electrify wherever some metal molecules still are lingering. And so on the back of my left calf is where I felt the little shock, if you will, from this. I was like, okay. And two days in a row, around the same type of, I'm like, okay, it's, it's lessening because my body is eliminating, but I'm still noticing. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So what's going on? And so God told me to take a look. He said, okay, you see that little bruise on the outside of your calf? And then you see that tiny bruise on the inside? I said, yeah. He said, those are what acting as plugs, keeping, there's a few pockets. I saw them finally on the back of my left calf. I saw the little pockets where the metamolecules are. I said, oh, that the bruises are acting as plug to keep those there. Remember how the enemy likes to prolong, right? He wants to prolong pain and suffering. Oh, I would tell you, the enemy did not anticipate for God and I to be forensically analyzed, uh, analyzing, if you will, but getting to the nitty gritty as to what's going on and how the radio frequency is, because I'm aware of it. Like, I'm on my morning walk and I now know what's going on. I know that those frequencies are used to electrocute but you can't be electrocuted if you don't have some metal toxins in there, right? Let that sink in. You can't be electrocuted if you don't have some metal toxin in the body. Because I will tell you that when I was on the blood type diet the first time around, my autonomic nervous system did heal. Frequencies were not affecting me at all. And they still don't. The only thing it does is on the superficial side now, because I'm aware of it. It might sound crazy, but this is the way it goes down. And so as I got became aware, remember the smoke detector went off and I felt a slight tug at the top. And I went, aha, gotcha. <laughs> like, gotcha. And so now, okay. And that's when God revealed that it was the high frequency for me that used to. Because I was like, yeah, because I had stopped cringing to the high frequency years ago. Yeah, I overcame that. So I was like, this don't make sense. It still don't bother me. Because I'm on the sidewalk. The highway is right there. That fire truck going right by. And I got these in. And I'm still not cringing. I'm like... Yeah, where, where are they at? <laughs> because wherever I feel a little bit of a shock lets me know where the metals are that need to get out. And the only way they're going to get out is if they're shrinking and they get back into circulation. And so we have to ice those plugs to get them out of the way. I'm going to let y'all chew on that. But God revealed these things, and it's wonderful because I'm like, all right, not only are we getting more awareness about ourselves, but how God made us and how the enemy manipulates that autonomic nervous system. So I was thinking, well, then did it get re-traumatized? And God's like, well, yeah, it did. It did. You didn't, but it did because it operates like its own little thing. So it was just one last thing that I, right, the autonomic nervous system was just one more thing that I need to become aware of so I get control of it. Same thing for y'all. As you become aware of yours, you'll figure, with God, you'll, you'll learn how to get control of it. That's right, more positive association, Switching up the routine. If you notice that the autonomic nervous system 
is anticipatory, okay? So if you were doing a certain activity that it associates with a previous, let's say, environment that it viewed as a threat, rightfully so, it hasn't been able to make the disconnect because of a routine. You see, the autonomic nervous system is very routine-like. And it will, yeah, it will remember from the past. So what's happened is my ANS, just like y'all, when it went through a little bit of a re-traumatization, it by itself, but nothing major, kind of like somewhat. Uh, God said that it's only remembering from before. It could only respond to the high frequencies because it used to work in the past. Same concept of the devil, he stays in the past. He's only going to use what used to work in the past. And so he targeted my autonomic nervous system once again with the high frequencies because it used to work in the past. So we have to keep that in mind. But we get control of our, oh yeah, you talk to it. It's your inner child. Treat it as such. That's the only way. Seriously, we have to get disciplinatory. We have to discipline it. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice that one. <laughs> so, yeah, no, huh? They're, no, no. The minor, the minor pings and pangs that come and go, that's from, yeah, that's just from, okay, air pocket got to release because remember, we learned something else that the air pocket has to be in place and then the uh, the metal travels to that. So whenever it gets, the metal gets hot from salt and other things, right, it expands. And so with the air bubble there, what's that going to do? Apply pressure. So as we continue, because I can feel when an air pocket releases here or there, because you know how, you, you know the vibration that comes with belching? Okay, well, that's kind of what it's like, except you don't, there's no sound or anything, but you'll feel <laughs> right, as it as, uh, loosening up. So, and the thing is with the, um, with that, with the, the bruising being there uh, in that location, I'm not surprised. Because, exactly, because the enemy, okay, the enemy knew that people would compliment me on that particular area of the body throughout my life. I never took, I would just say thank you. But I never, it, of course, did not go to the chosen one. It did not go to our head. See, that's another reason the devil cannot touch us. Because we don't let that stuff go to our head. So, there's, right, and so that Jezebel being jealous, of course, wanted to, to, to beat up on them a bit. Of course. So, yeah. It is. The high and low frequency is exactly like a love bomb and a D valve. That's right. The high frequency. Uh, okay, a wolf whistle. Yep. The low frequency. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, here's another one. Uh, bus. Yeah, the buses out here that I've noticed. And, and, and I was like, okay, I said, why does God have me paying attention to that? Because I can hear the, it's a very low tone, but it's a high frequency. I can hear it go beep, 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 beep. And they are coming to a stop. And then the whoosh of the brake as they're setting. I went, oh, 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 man, that is so subtle. But that's another way that the ANF gets manipulated. Yeah, the bus has a very low tone, beep, 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 of the setting of the brakes. 
And I went, oh, wow. Because I, God had me paying attention to that as I'm on my walk because of a couple of bus stops. I was like, okay, public transportation. And so I noticed that sound. But I didn't pick up on the low frequency whoosh setting of the brakes right away. I was hearing the, the higher frequency, the beep beeps. And I was like, okay. But just yesterday, God revealed that to me. I was like, oh man, that's just another way they do it. Wow. So you start to pay attention, becoming more aware of things out here in this world that right, are designed to do that for the push-pull. Exactly. That's precisely what it is because it's through the love bombing and deval, right, that we get trauma bonded, right, the manipulation in the brain chemistry. Well, same concept applies. Got to manipulate that autonomic nervous system, high frequency and low frequency, right, up, down, up, down, up, down. And so it, it's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> and so it's going to only respond the way it always has responded to what it perceives as a threat. Exactly. Disciplinatory. Disciplinary. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, disciplinary. All right, there you go. That's better. <laughs> right, reversing beats you get on a lot of trucks. Absolutely. There you go. Garbage truck. Think about this. Bear with me, right? Okay, so garbage truck come and picking up, right? The the, the arm make a, you know, yeah, a, a low vibration, right? And then the slamming of the garbage can, right? Metal against metal, low vibration, low vibration, right? And then as it puts the can back and it does what? Beep, 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 beep. Another way. <laughs> Another way. Oh, yeah, because I can hear it when they, when they come for this one over here. Yeah, for the residential dumpster. They come quite frequently, so it didn't take me long to make that connection. So it's all around us. I mean, it's just, it's, it's phenomenal. All the little ways that these things make the high and low frequency together. You know, like the siren. And it's just like, gosh, the fire drill. Uh, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And then when you think about all the different high and low frequencies, let's say during a drama series, right? Think about the different frequencies with the uh, movies and, and, and um, yeah, uh, drama shows, what have you. Think of all the different frequencies that go on there, operating in the background. It's, it's phenomenal. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, with the autonomic nervous system. And so as we continue to learn more about this, we also start to realize that the devil cannot touch chosen one. This is a good example of, of why. Because we start to get the awareness, that heightened awareness, the level of awareness around us. Of what is occurring and how things are occurring, right? How the traumatization starts with the ANS. It's really fascinating. I'm telling y'all. And yeah, we're still taking notes. And so this is a big part of our day. It's part of research. So never forget, for those of you, thank you to those who have pledged service grant. And thank you to those who will. The PayPal link is below for quicker access. And the funding also goes towards this that we're doing, the research for you all, because it's so important for the trauma healing. It was one more thing. That's why, you know, that's why I look at this lesson as a blessing in disguise, because, you know, bruises heal. 
right? We know this. But I did not know the autonomic nervous system role in the traumatization in that way. Oh, in the ways that we're being taught by God uh, and connecting the dots with radio frequency manipulation. And I was like, oh man, let's just make everything come together. It just all makes sense because it answers the how did we get trauma bonded to the world first, right? Well, there you go. It's by the manipulation of our autonomic nervous system. And so once that sucker heals and we're aware of it and we are in control of it, and when we sense it acting stupid, we say, um, excuse me. Yeah, it had to knock it off. <laughs> or if it, right, it depends on the activity, okay? So use that discernment. So also, yeah, so like when I was going to the mirror to do this, each time, remember, each time I would go like this, it wanted to perceive that as a threat because... I used to use battery-operated grooming tools for that, for the eyebrow. And so it was anticipating based on that movement. So for that, I'm like, it's okay. Let's do a little bit of coddling, just a little bit. Because we don't want the ANF to develop the ism mindset. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. <laughs> it's not going to ever do that because it's... Right. <clears throat> it doesn't have a mind of its own. <laughs> oh my goodness, you all. I cannot help that. Okay, so Yes, we're all about laughter in God's reality too, okay? So <laughs> And I do have to bring a little bit of lightness to this because it is very deep. It is very, very deep uh, as we become more aware of it and the fact that we get control of it. Again, because it is our inner child. And so it's another, another reason why the devil cannot touch us. So, well, yeah, we're divinely protected by God. Absolutely. We are 100% divinely protected by God. And I want to go ahead and thank all y'all for hitting this like button on the videos. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Because we need these truths to get to those who are looking for them. Remember, the ones who are not of the Holy Spirit will not understand our content. They cannot spiritually discern. Remember, God tells us this. Yeah, because they will not understand the things of God, the Spirit. They will not understand it. They can't. So, hitting that like button, dropping some comment below, things like that, will help the content and God's spiritual truth get to our fellow chosen one, okay, who need it. Because those who are serious about trauma healing, yeah, because we are supposed to be living our best life, to becoming the best virgin that God created us to be. And to live your best life, we ought to do what? Yeah, we got to live a healthier life. Make that lifestyle change. And I'm going to tell you, Chris will back me up. And some of y'all, they drop it in the comments below. But once you start eating healthier, you start to feel better. Can't deny that. And once you start to feel better, you start to get your stamina back. Yeah? Get more clarity. That heightened awareness. That's right. And we become more aware of how the autonomic nervous system gets traumatized. Because we know it is a fear detector. Okay? Threat detector. Yes, you're welcome. 
autonomic nervous system humor. <laughs> Got to do something. Got to do something with that, right? So as we become more aware of it and how it plays that role in the world of trauma, we get a deeper understanding of ourselves. And like I said earlier, it's beautiful because we get to learn how strategically God made us. Mm. And so it's all part of God revealing how the ANS is what the enemy uses against us as well. Trauma bondage to the world first so that we're easier to trauma bond to a narcissist. So it's all part of that grooming since birth to tolerate the abuse later in life. Until God awakens us, he awakens that subconscious. And we're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're not going to continue to let this happen. Because we know we've got the power and authority on the inside to not allow that to happen. So, yeah, exactly. And right, defaulting makes a big difference. Clearer mind and body. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, lowering that salt intake. Yeah, getting rid of added sugars. Yes, yeah, there's that reminder for somebody. Remember, sugars and salt produces more mucus. And if it's in the head, salt is the body's thermostat. And so as the heat on the inside heats up, it'll, it'll mess up our perception. Things will look bigger than they really are. Our depth perception will be thrown off. Oh, yeah. I went through that here in the beginning of this healing, the physical side. I'm going to bring it to y'all because I'm aware of it. That's the thing. I was aware and still am the whole time when something like that might happen. You know what I'm saying? Because I was aware of the internal body heat, right? I'm, I was aware of, okay, my depth perception being thrown off. I was aware of it. That's the difference. And that's why what the enemy tried to do didn't work. The devil can't touch. Chosen one. That's why he had to send the Jezebels and other narcissists to cross their path. To try and do his dirty work. Because he can't touch us. He can't do it to us directly. And he really doesn't want to. He would rather see us do it to ourselves. So like the, the example I shared earlier. Where I realized. Oh. I, was, I became aware when I was eating. That I was. Doing it to myself. I was cutting off my own. Oh, okay. So we stop doing that once we become aware. Another reason why the devil and the enemy does not want people to get that heightened awareness. And so we really do. Um, I want to say thank you to all who share. All right, share our content. Like it. Share it. Help people find it. Uh, yeah, so, you know, God, God, mm, just remember, God got this too. First and foremost, God has it. And it's only going to make sense to those who want God's spiritual truth, but those who have the Holy Spirit. And it's only going to make sense for those who are serious about healing from the trauma. I understand a lot of people find, yeah, cutting down on sugars, excessive sugars. And making sure that if you are using sugar, that it cane all natural sugars. That's what the body will go for first. Always. That's how God made us. The body will always go for what it natural what is natural so that's what our enzymes were designed for not to try and process a bunch of artificial stuff no and the enemy knows that too but 
because he also knows human nature. Right. And he also knows that those who sow it of the flesh, uh huh. And how addictive certain substances are. Woo! Yeah, we learned this. Like that corn syrup. Uh huh. Yeah, it goes in that frontal lobe and, 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 and tricks you into thinking, hmm, I think I'm going to have some more of that. Then, next thing you know, gluttony occurs, right? <laughs> so, we have to learn about all of this. That's the thing. And so, I want y'all to also listen to the message of the week, okay? That we're not to be weary and well doing. That's another reason why the devil cannot touch us. He cannot touch God's chosen one. Because we do not get weary in well-doing. Again, we do take breaks and rest as we should. Especially during the detoxing and the, right, and the healing. Okay, you're going to want, you are going to want to rest more. You are going to find yourself sleeping in on some days. It's going to happen. Because it has to. Remember, the best healing occurs while we sleep. Even though God's working on it all day long, <laughs> he can do a lot more while we're sleeping because we're more relaxed. And that circulation, okay? So, just keep that in mind. We don't want to, right, we don't want to get ahead of God either. But we can take breaks, that's fine. We take breaks. We just don't get ahead of God. I say that a lot for a reason because I'm guilty. <laughs> All right, I've done it. And I can't say I won't ever try it again. It depends. But we're working on it. Remember, chosen ones, we are a work in progress. This is not going to be figured out overnight. None of this is going to happen overnight. It takes time. And God takes his time. Now, he does speed things up. On his time and there are some things that he does suddenly let me remind you all about how that works when God does something suddenly it's not going to be all at once in an overwhelming fashion it can it right a little bit like on this day example they'll be all put it in perspective a few days ago this past week God put it on my spirit to do another batch of chili. And I'm like, okay. I mean, we know that chili powder and, and things like that. Lysopene tomatoes, we're not good for the heart. Chili powder is also, uh, it, right, it's made from chili peppers. So that red chili powder is made from red peppers. And what do we know about those? Good for circulation. I'm like, okay. And so although I was originally planning to go on a friday past friday i ended up going oh well, past thursday i ended up going on friday now friday is where god introduced me to the ice packing of, of down here well i had started a little bit here and there but he gave me a way to take two of those ice packs and wrap the towel around there to keep them on there for a bit longer because I was like, okay, because I know what season I'm at. Remember, third round of detox. So I was like, I know what season I'm at. And I'm familiar with the fluctuations, stuff like that. But at some point, this year and that there, it should stop. You know, right, it should stop water ballooning. I was like, hold up a second. I said, I know where, what season I'm at. That's why God showed me. Okay, so I want you to take two of those and I want you to put it on, on that left side. Walk around. And immediately, I noticed the difference. I said, okay, okay, I hear you, Heavenly Father. And so I was going to make the chili Friday evening, but I waited till Saturday morning to get it started. Because I like to do it in the crock pot and let it simmer. And... 
Yeah, so that Saturday morning, ice packing, right? Walking around. Although, you're right. It, it's like I thought to myself, well, God wanted me to do it on Thursday. He said, no, you're doing it exactly the way I knew you would do it. Exactly the way that I planned for it to go down. Because as we are, right, we are shrinking the plug, getting rid of them, and the circulation starts to pick back up chili, chili powder to help it. Did God... He knows what we need when we need it. Food-wise, too, yes. So, because I was like, in the middle of the week, and I'm like, okay, God, I'm on my walk. He put chili on my spirit. So I was like, okay. I don't ask. I don't ask why. But he revealed the connection. Anyway. That's God wanting us to be in the know. So that way... Going forward, when he puts our spirit, we have a heads up. Ah, because he's getting ready to do something else. And so he, right. So I'm going to get that chili powder in there, right, with all beneficial and neutral ingredients for the blood type diet. Yep. Get it all in there. So there you go. All right, that can help y'all put it in perspective when God does that. That was a suddenly, but it wasn't all at once. You see, because I'm just like sitting here on working out that salvation, and he just said chili. I went, I make some chili. Okay. And I said, all right, well, I'll plan to go to the store and get all of that Thursday. But I wasn't really up to it. So I said, I can go Friday. He said, that's fine. And then we made it up on Saturday. We made the chili. So it was over a few days. But that, the suddenly, he just puts it on your spirit. But you didn't have to go out and get all that stuff all at once. See, the enemy would like to trick you into thinking you got to do that. No. Because God's timing. Because God knows. Even though I was going to plan to do it on Thursday. God's like, yeah, but you ain't going to feel like it. I'm telling you. <laughs> You ain't going to want to go nowhere. And he was right. I had some more notes I was taking. That was one of those days where, woo, <laughs> connection were just pouring in. So I wanted to give you all that because it, it's very, very important. That's how God works. That's right. And obesity follows gluttony. Exactly. And you do realize now more and more, right, why the enemy like, why the enemy does what he does with that? Because the more fatty tissue a person has, the more areas, exactly, the more areas there will be to house those metal tops and... Mm-hmm. That's right. So, it, it's just crazy making i know but the enemy is all about that pain and suffering and prolonging it if he can because he knows that our body the way god made it he knows that we can eliminate that stuff pretty quick when our internal environment is in the right condition or shall we say under normal conditions right things are acting normally or functioning normally think about this if our biological body and nervous system are functioning normally we won't have any pain and suffering uh -uh. the word normal there is nothing normal about the devil and his flying monkey narcissist is there Mm -mm. There's nothing normal about that. But the enemy needs to keep as many off balance as he can. So that the ANF can be more easily numbed. They'll be unaware that it's numb. They'll be more accident prone. 
And so they'll become dependent on man instead of on God. They'll never get Jesus. So, yeah, they're not normal. <laughs> no. No, not by any means. But I'll tell you something. They, as long as they have themselves surrounded with like mind, it makes them feel normal. Until someone comes along. And we disrupt their demon spirits. That's the way it is. <laughs> All right, everyone. So there we go. Uh, it's been an hour. We're going to go ahead and call it a day on this. I just wanted to bring some more to you all and remind you that the devil cannot touch chosen one because if he could he would not need to send flying monkey narcissists right and then he wouldn't have a need to try and trick us into self-sabotage it's really that simple and so all part of how the devil can't touch us is us getting that heightened awareness I hate the awareness that, you know what? That we can see what's going on in the spiritual realm now. We can understand better why the devil does what he does. And that we do live in a fallen Babylonian narcissistic matrix. God chose us out spiritually. He has chosen one. He sure did. He tells us that we're not of this world. Never have been, never will be. We were never meant to be. So, once that sinks in and we get this trauma healing all the way, including the autonomic nervous system, because once we're aware of it and it heals, the frequency will no longer be able to manipulate it. Glory be to God. So, let's keep on keeping on, all right, fellow warriors? I am Michelle Dickey, your host. For CHA's Let's Just Chat shows streaming on the YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance. That's right, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Walk in your frequency poisoning for healthier living. Trauma healing and spiritual growth occur with God wisdom, basic scientific facts, tried and true techniques, and more here and at CHA Academy BTBW.com. The link to the academy is listed below. Some of you may need to copy and paste the link to view what CHA Academy BTBW.com offers to help you level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you keep being you in Jesus' name. Amen. 